Hi, it's Maria here from Sweden. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well in these crazy times and that you're taking care of yourself. Uh, I am actually. Uh, today we woke up early. We had a very early uh, breakfast on our uh, morning balcony with the morning sun raising up. It was very, very nice. And after that we uh, dressed uh, for a really nice one hour walk in the forest that is right uh, close to where we live. So now I'm back in my in my training clothes still and uh, I really wanted to show you my planning for next week. Uh, this is my Filofax Crocs Black. I love it. Very very heavy and thick. Um, when we had these normal times, you know the past, before Corona, um, I used it a lot. I carried it around everywhere where I was. Um, I could really feel it in my shoulder because it was quite heavy to, to carry around. But I loved every, every use of it. Now when we're at home, staying at home working um, part time, I have this planner on my table so that I can use it for my business planning. Uh, I also have this one uh, from Hobonichi, but that, this one is only for to-do lists. And so a normal day when I have a really lot to do, I use it uh, as my to-do list and I can make some notes from, from meetings or whatever. Uh, and this one is for, you know, I use, I put everything that I book into my digital calendar um, and, and then I transfer it to this one so I can have an overview of the week. Here uh, all the inserts that I use are from cloth and paper uh, and I also have cute stickers, different stickers in these very nice kind of colors that are gray and beige and uh, light brown. I keep them here. Um, <clears throat> here is my professional business card that says old ways will not open new doors and I think this card is really you know very very up to date today because today you really have to find new ways to do to do things that you normally have done in another way before so it's a good reminder behind the on the other side you, you have all my contact my name and my, my mobile number and my email address and so forth. Yeah, um, and then I have uh, this um, Vellum year, year and I have a divider that says schedule. So here we come to the planner section. I put this cute paper cut it down and I put it here. I really like how it, it is. It's uh, in a very nice pinkish color and gold. And from the same shop, I got this really cute uh, paper that I also cut down and I put some holes in it. Okay, let's go to the, to today. Today, it's Saturday and here is the week, how it turned out, more or less. I have some to-do lists that I haven't put here. Uh, what I did was that I put some priorities, uh, what I should prioritize this week. And I think I actually have done one thing. Um, partially this one. Uh, this one was a tender that I was going to answer. And this one professionally, and this one was uh, about cleaning in my mailbox, you know, sorting and taking, taking out things. Uh, I've done it partially, but I have a lot of mail, so I ha I'm not finished with that yet. And some marketing, and I, I haven't done that yet. But I am planning on working tomorrow, so tomorrow I think I will do some of these things so I can check them off. What I did was that I put some I put some to dos uh, on the upper upper part of every day from Monday to Sunday, and then on the lower part I put in with gray the the appointments that I have um, work wise. 
So it's been quite busy Tuesday, um, some part of Wednesday and Thursday and this day I was supposed to be half day free but then I started to do some finance work for my, my company and it ended up being the whole afternoon. Here is marked with yellow. That's the time where me and my husband uh, will have together. Um, we have had a lot of discussions this week. Uh, you know, we, we are good in talking. We talk a lot. Uh, and this week, uh, the theme has been, how can we up-level our relationship? Because we feel that, especially now when we we're into uh, two months of being at home together and we're going into the third month. It's crazy when you think about it. We went on vacation uh, in the beginning of March, yeah. And when we got home, we stayed at home and after that we've been at home. Um, not uh, like in quarantine, like most other countries, I think, or maybe you have heard about our, the Swedish, uh, you know, way of struggling with the, with the corona. Uh, we have a little bit more of a liberal way of uh, handling it. Uh, that doesn't mean that we are, you know, we don't care or anything, but we have, um, we are used to listen to the, um, to the government and to the agencies when they when they go out and tell us about their expertise and we have this uh, agency that is very very specialized in the um, health issues in the country and um, they have um, they do a lot of research and they have a lot of collaborations with other researchers worldwide they go to um, I mean, they've been all around the world to help people, uh, uh, how do you say that, defend? No, not defend. Uh, to help ha countries to, to get rid of diseases that have been, you know, really dangerous. So they are really, really competent. And when this started, uh, this corona, when we got our first cases, um, it's mostly two, two groups that, you know, where this started. We have this area where the information where we they don't really speak that well Swedish and maybe the Swedish government has a little bit hard time to get to their different communities. Um, so that's one part that has been unfortunately um, they have a lot of cases from from that area. Uh, and then uh, there was this uh, group of people who went to Italy uh, for this the February vacation and got home with with the uh, with the disease So that where it started uh, So when we had that, you know, not that many cases we started to we got you know a lot of daily information from our government where they tell us what to do and what they said is that keep distance be out be outside uh, you can go outside, you can go out for walks and everything, you can, you can go to restaurants, you can go and shop, but you go by yourself, you don't go with the whole family, um, and you can do whatever you can, but keep distance. Distance outside about one and a half to two meters, and inside, if you have to be inside somewhere, uh, they want us to be about two meters apart. And when the government talks, we listen. It, we, it's a, that's a tradition that we have. Um, so they've seen that, ex uh, for example, for Easter, when most people in Stockholm, or very many people in, in the whole country actually, but in, in Stockholm, go to their country houses, you know, go, go everywhere for, or up, uh, for skiing. Uh, and they, they saw that only 10% uh, of the population was moving. Uh, so, you know, 90% of the Swedish population uh, was listening. I don't know the, the per percent, what it would have been in the normal uh, Easter, but I'm at least 40% maybe, maybe 50, I don't know. 
but only 10% were out, you know, driving around. And that, does, that doesn't mean that, um, that they were, you know, going to a, another place. They were just, you know, moving around. And so whole distance, uh, don't uh, meet with your older people. Uh, ever people over 70 are, are the ones that really have to be, you know, excluded or being in their, in their homes. Uh, so we're not so we can't visit them. We can we can visit them, but being outside with the distance apart, and then of course uh, washing our hands, and the the ones that can work from home will can do that. And we have so many companies that have you know transformed their whole business, their whole offices, everything, so that every people. Uh, every employee uh, at, at different companies, both private and also the official different agencies, uh, all of them are working from home today. And I am working as a consultant, so my, my work has been very different from this spring. A lot of things were cancelled, postponed till uh, autumn, and some of them are still going, but we're doing it through Zoom or Skype or Teams or, or whatever. So yeah, that was a little bit. So normally I have a lot of appointments and I have a lot of to-dos, but I don't, I don't have that many appointments now, but I, can, I still have the to-dos. And owning your own company, you always have the, the challenge, you know, of being when am I free and when am I, am I at work or, you know, I'm my own boss. I could, I could decide that I won't work for a week if I don't want to. Uh, and if I have the possibility to say that. Uh, and so now I'm back to the discussions, the, the talk with my, my, my fiancé that, uh, and he is at home also, uh, and we could, you know, really, you know, see that it's hard to get quality time together, even though if we see each other, we have, you know, we, have breakfast together, then we go and work, and then we have a coffee together, and then we have lunch together, and then we have an afternoon uh, fika, whatever we call it in Swedish, and so forth. But that's kind of in a re repetitive, you know, pattern, Monday to Sunday. Doesn't matter if you work or if it's weekend. And um, we w wanted to change that. We want to add some quality time together. And as we are not, I am not working 100%, uh, instead of, you know, putting some percent here and some percent here, we said that let's, you know, concentrate my days if it's possible so I can have Friday, Saturday and Sunday free or even Thursday to Sunday free or if I can block an afternoon or something. So that's about that. So for next week, uh, next week will look like this. Um, I put the gray parts here, so that's where I can, you know, where I write my appointments, the things that I have to remember to do. I'll do it like this. Um, so Monday, uh, we have an appointment with a girl uh, about digital media. And then, um, at uh, 10 o'clock to 14, I have a, I can't really write the uh, customer here, but it's a meeting. I'll have to write that afterwards. Sorry about that. Um, or I can leave it like this. And then on at 15 to 16, uh, we're gonna be on Zoom to, talk about another customer that's secret sorry so I, I can that's the first initial of that customer and then on Tuesday I have decided to offer a free seminar at the web about career drive and motivation and it's between 9 to 11 and the, the headline is what what am I gonna be when I get when I'm grown up? What's my what's my uh, it, we have a saying in Swedish that says 
what am I going to be when I grew up? Um, that's a big question mark, you know, that you ask yourself when you're a kid. But m many people of us are are still, you know, thinking about that even when we're 30, 40, or 50, asking ourselves, what's my motivation? What's the drive? Where, where do I get my energy? And that's some things that I work with. So I have decided to offer a free webinar about that. So I write webinar here. And it's for a network called For Good. And then we have said that we're going to have some uh, quality time uh, here, me and my man. And we'll see what that will be. I think we're going out in the forest. Maybe we'll have a lunch or something if the weather is good. So we bring some food into the forest and we do some trekking. And then I have a meeting at four with some of my consultants and we're calling it what's cooking what's on our mind what do we need what do we want our you know uh, consultant network what kind of help do we want from them and you know what's in our head okay um here i will have some time for administration administration and marketing and that's the short for that is Marfa in Swedish. And then we'll have a planning meeting at 10.30 with one of our partners. Uh, her name is Inger. And then I have free time. I don't really know yet what I'm going to do with that. Probably it's only a lunch. And then I have a three hour assignment in the afternoon with a customer. Uh, we can call him Tommy, I mean, his partner. So that's the first three days. And then on Thursday, uh, I have to remember that we have this uh, big garbage container that will be on the street so that we can throw things into it. So I may I may uh, plan for that, go through some things and see if I can, if we can get off some things of our, our all the things that we have. Um, here I will be attending a webinar, it's not me who has it, it's uh, another consultant. And then I will have administration again here. And marketing and sorry and then I have a um, in the afternoon we have some a meeting with our consultants you know talking about life what's up what's new you know what's happening so this is the week uh, my priorities for this week is um, health, so I put a private priority into this one, and then it's, it has to be uh, some marketing because we need some more customers for the autumn, and of course to be well prepared for the 12th, yeah. So that's my week. Uh, I love this because it, it gives me a very good overview of how the week will look like, where I have my private time, my m and time, and when I have my administration time. And I think that I, in these, I will apply, <laughs> apply for some uh, of me time, time for my own planning and my creativity. Um, We'll see about that. But this is the first, the first, you know, how my next week will look like. What I also use from Cloth and Paper, they have this monthly spread from uh, that says 1 to 31st, and that comes in the end of every week. Here, um, so if you look, 
Um, here is another week, here is another week. And on the back side of the last day of the week, I have this one. And so I put the days here and then I marked them with different colors. The gray is for uh, weekend. I'm not that co uh, cohesant, do you say that? Consequent, maybe? Uh, I, I would, you know, if I have the gray for work, and then I put the um, the weekend with gray. But I love the gray in this pa on this paper, so, and this uh, style. Anyway, doesn't matter. And then here I put different uh, activities that I have um, with my different customers and that is um, for May, for instance, I have this. I think I also, uh, we're going to have a webinar here. I don't know the time yet. So here is a webinar. And that webinar has to be marketed. We have to put it on different channels to tell our customers that this webinar will be here on the 28th. So then I use this one. This is the page where I write what I have to, you know, do regarding the marketing. So here are the activities, the external activities, and here is the marketing for, for the same thing. And the marketing can be my, my company, but it, it is uh, most, mostly our activities. So they have to be on a certain date so that we can, you know, handle the things. And then I think that I invited some of my customers, but I don't remember when. I'll have to see in May, because I think I got an answer that some of them were going to come. So I probably have to put that into a 19th of May. I really think about this. Yes, I did. Um, so the web I have a webinar in the morning and then in the afternoon. I think I'll write the time here because I have to remember that. And then here is um, 14 to 14.45. We will have a small fika for some customers that we call key 13. Yeah. But that's not this next week, it's the week after. So, yeah, I think this works really well. And when I have done, you know, all the marketing that I was supposed to do, I haven't done anything about that. I'll do that here on the 10th. I can mark them off. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you're having a nice day and a weekend and take care of yourself. You're important. Bye bye.